Shalom brothers and sisters and welcome to another video. All praises goes to the Most High Yahweh in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. But sisters, this is a continuation of the explanation or a simpler way to explain the first and second covenants. Now as I said in a previous video, the first covenant is a covenant that was working from the outside, meaning that uh, the Heavenly Father wrote his finger on a tablet. Moses wrote down the law, statutes, and commandments. Uh, we had to wear fringes. The temple was a physical building that you built. Everything's on the outside. Levites. Uh, was chosen to be the priest to uh, service the temple. Um, everything was on the outside, but the Father wanted it to be worked inside of you. Circumcise your mind, circumcise your heart, that you may automatically do them yourself. Or let's just say through practice, through study, and through time, those things will become habit forming for you to do. So it was a covenant work from the outside into you. And then you were to work those work, good works outside of you. So the f that's the first covenant. And, and the second covenant is a covenant that works directly from the spirit of the most high inside of you working outwardly for he circumcised your mind permanently with his law statutes and commandments that you may do them automatically so he's doing the law such commandments through you through his own spirit he placed in us during this second covenant so that's the difference between the two. So right here, as we see Jeremiah 31 and 31 says, Behold, the days are coming, says Yahuwah, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, my covenant which they broke. Though I was a husband to them, says Yahuwah. So as you can see, it's the most high taking hold of us, grabbing our hand, leading us as children and, and teaching us lessons and passing judgments. This is all on the outside, passing judgments, spanking us, whooping us, killing us too for those who are disobedient. So you had all that going on in this first covenant, but the second covenant, he, he, he says what? Verse 33, but this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Yahshua. After those days, says Yahuwah, I will put my law in their minds and write it in their hearts. See, he's going to put the law, statutes, and commandments in our minds and hearts. He's going to circumcise our hearts for us that we may automatically do it. And I will be their Elohim and they shall be my people. No more shall every man teach his neighbor. You ain't better teach. You're going to be doing no Bible studies, teaching, uh, wearing fringes. Uh, see, fringes were to remind you of the law sets commandments and to do them. Uh, you no longer have to write it on the doorpost or write, write it in your house everywhere and all that practicing and it's going to be automatically done. And every man his brother saying, No, Yahuwah, for they all shall know me. For the least of them to the greatest of them says Yahuwah. For I will forgive their iniquity and their sin I will remember no more. So, the first covenant was delivered by Moses, delivered by him, in which we had all this stuff that we had to do ourselves through practice, through learning, 
and so on and so forth with the first covenant. But the second covenant is delivered by Yahusha. And this particular covenant is put into your makeup of your whole body. You're into your mind completely, into your brain completely. It's permanently put in there through the Spirit of the Most High. It's just like into your DNA. And you automatically do those laws, statutes, and commandments. And we see right here, it's the same thing being spoken right here in Hebrews chapter 8, 7 through um, 13. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same old thing. You know, the new covenant that's established will wash away your sins and your inequities. And from that day forward, you won't sin anymore. When the new covenant is fully activated, when the Messiah returns, that's the full activation right now. You're kind of in between that that moment where the spirit is with you, but you in a punishment phase right now. So yeah, you, you still gotta open these books, read. You still gotta learn. You gotta find ways to remind yourself throughout the day. That's what I'm gonna say. Pray continuously. Think on Him continuously. You're not going to do all those things anymore, brothers and sisters. This is the difference between the first and the second covenant. The first covenant, hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for giving us the first covenant, which we broke. And due to our wicked nature, the whole nation couldn't do it as a whole. Yes, you had your individuals, yes, that did do it. Praise Yah for that. But the whole nation as a whole had problems, issues, and wanted to be like the heathens. So we rebel little by little until we finally rebel completely. And he put us in punishment. So we're in the punishment phase right now. And when Yahushuk returned, he's going to finish the last three and a half years he didn't finish to complete his week, according to Daniel's chapter 7, uh, chapter 9. But anyway, brothers and sisters, let's go right here. Now, I got this document I've been having up for a little while. Hopefully, y'all done downloaded it off my website. Yahweh salvation by faith alone. The new covenant is done. It's free. It's given freely. So, when you look at the new covenant that the Father is giving you, it's done by your faith alone. It's, it's not no works that you can do to get this covenant. You have to have faith in the Father and His plan of salvation alone. The works come second. The works come second. Once the set apart Ruach comes into you, then these things come into play right here. So right here, if y'all download this document, uh, the first covenant by faith and love. Abraham's faith accounted for righteousness. That's an example of the faith you need. And uh, that you need to be doing. And then you got the grace. Uh, the mercy of Yahweh right here. Read these scriptures. Mercy and Baruchah are uh, blessed of Yahweh here. Covering of sins by the blood. Promises, covenants, and rewards under grace, uh, Yahusha, and in Him. Just read these scriptures here. Spirit of righteousness and set apartness. Uh, that's what's given to you. Set apart rock, spirits sent 
uh, it binds one and two together. You know, it binds this faith and love and the Ruach. And turning from committing sins, it binds these two here. Because once the Ruach comes into you and you, your faith is activates that Ruach, you start repenting and confessing your sins. And you start studying and applying the word of Yahweh, which starts washing you clean. And you start growing in the word and be converted and purged by the word and testimonies. You start obeying your laws, statutes, and commandments, Sabbath days, feast days, and judgments. The set apart rock becomes your helper. You're married to it now, producing the works of righteousness, circumcision of the flesh, uh, in marriage, give yourselves to one another, separate from unrepentant sinners, water baptism. And of course, faith without works is dead. So, all these works is second to your faith and your love toward Yahweh. Because only this here is going to get you the uh, set apart Ruach inside of your soul that you may do these works of righteousness. Because you have to be a doer of the word you say you have faith and belief in. And the ones you say you love. You love Yahweh. You love Yahusha. Do the works of righteousness on this earth. So again, right here. This, this is the new covenant. Given to you freely by the Most High. By faith and love. He puts his spirit inside of you. Which causes you to start repenting, confessing. Y'all see that? You start doing all this, producing the works of righteousness, fasting and praying. If you ain't circumcised your flesh, you, you end up getting circumcised. Circumcision is not something that would save you, brothers and sisters. But it is a part of the word of, the, of, of Abraham. The, the covenant was made with Abraham. So yes, it's still in play, but it, it's not something that you have to do to, to obtain salvation. That's what Paul was trying to explain to everyone in his letters. He wasn't telling you not to get circumcised. He was trying to explain the difference between circumcision of the mind uh, that will lead to your salvation versus just getting circumcised in your flesh trying to get salvation just because you did that. That, don't, that ain't working. That's a work. And we don't have to work for this. So again, let's, let's, let's break this down. The um, first covenant delivered by Moses was a covenant work from the outside it, to the inside of you. And then you were to do the works of righteousness that the Father instructed. And the second covenant was delivered by Yahusha. And it's a covenant where the Father put the Spirit in you, which had, he put the law and such commandments through his Spirit that you may automatically do the law and such commandments without looking at fringes, without reading a book, without going to learn from the pastor or preacher. You won't need all that no more. He made it so much freely easier for us to, was that a good word to say, freely easier? <laughs> but anyway, y'all get, y'all understand what I'm saying, so. Let me know what y'all think. And I'm going to uh, do another part three to this series. And we're going to go in a little bit deeper into the scriptures. So y'all just hold tight. And uh, keep, keep praying for me as I pray for y'all. Shalom.